My name is Margaret Byrne, and I'm the director and producer of Raising Bertie, and you're watching Heartfire Film. Raising, Raising Bertie is a coming-of-age story in rural America. It follows three African-American boys growing up over six years in rural North Carolina. You know, being a female filmmaker, uh, there, you know, in the studio system in Hollywood, there's not as much opportunity. Um, somebody has to let you in the door every step of the way. And, uh, you know, independent filmmaking, both fiction and nonfiction, women can, you know, ex access, you can access uh, tools much easier now. So, you don't need to ask somebody's permission in order to to make a film. You can start making a film, especially in documentary. So in documentary, there's a lot of there's a lot more uh, female directors, and if you look at it, it's because one, there's no money in it, and two, um, you don't need to ask anybody's permission or get anybody to sign off in order to make your film. You can just go make your film and as a teacher that's what I'm always telling my students is if you really are passionate about something just go do it you don't you don't need fifty thousand dollars or a million dollars to go make it and I think uh, Moonlight is a great example this year uh, a movie that costs just over two million dollars and one best picture that's incredible with a all minority cast if you're going out and following your passion, how do you stay afloat while you're doing these longitudinal documentaries? I mean, I think, one, if you want to be a filmmaker, I think you have to be a risk taker and a leader if you want to direct and run a production. Uh, and taking risks means, you know, putting um, yourself in debt. Uh, I've put myself in mountains of credit card debt. and. You know, I'll talk to, you know, my sister or my mom and they'll be like, well, that's insane. What are you doing? You're ruining your life. And But you know what? I believe in what I'm doing. I believe in the stories that I'm telling and I'm passionate about it and I know that I'm going to finish it and I do. And somehow you climb out of that and, um, you know, I'm, I'm working on my second film now. I was able to get some uh, seed money for development, which is great, um, but it still isn't, it, it doesn't pay the bills, you know. I'm, I want to use that money to make the best film I can make, to make the best demo I can make, so in order to pay the bills, um, it's, it's a juggling act, you know. I, I, um, I teach at two different colleges, I uh, freelance. On, I've shot on many different films this year alone and and then I'm a single mother so I'm also juggling you know if it's not between the hours of 8 and 6 p.m. then how am I gonna do it and a lot of times on a shoot they'll go you know for 14 16 hours and so you have to figure that part out too and then I have to weigh you know what is the most important thing for me to do so I have a um, I'm filming something for, for my film uh, on Tuesday, for example, and I got offered a job after I set up the shoot for my film. But I turned down that job knowing that I'm going to lose the money, but I can't change when the shoot is happening. And this is more important to me to tell this story. But at the same time, I, I need to make sure that, you know, I'm taking care of my daughter. She's my priority. And that she has everything that she needs and that I'm there for her. And so if I am going to work on a film and put my time and my heart into it, then she's either going to be some part of it with me or um, it's got to be really important to because it's time away from my child. And, you know, I'm, I'm all she has. And, and I would advise as you definitely as the director, as the producer, pay yourself because if you don't pay yourself you'll never get paid out of that grant money make sure you get paid something so that you can function so that you can keep going on and moving forward with the project but I think it's it's definitely all about 
balancing money and your passion and your family. Um, but to me, it's a gift to be able to make films. I mean, it's I'm it's an honor to make to tell the stories that I've been able to tell and to really be in like so entrenched in the lives of, of people that I'd never come across otherwise. And it's really shaped who I am as a person and is, I mean, it's my, it's my whole life. I think if I weren't making films, I, I would be, I don't know.